second I'm with Next Best Picture. Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well today. Hi, good, Hi. how are you? Um, thank you so much for your time today. I'm, I'm very excited to dive into this film. Um, I, I guess I would just really love for all three of you, what would you say was the most, um, the thing that you were most looking forward to with this film, whether it was exploring characters, exploring themes, this very crazy financial world, what was, what was it for you? Um, I was really excited about working with Alden because he's a phenomenal actor and, you know, I've been a big fan of his for a while, so that was really exciting. Um, but also just to explore all of these things that I don't think have been fully explored, um, uh, uh, you know, in about modern relationships and um, male fragility and all of these themes that I think I've wanted to kind of talk about and explore and, and this the Chloe's script just felt um, like such a brilliant way to, to do that. Um, so I just, I was excited about being able to really get into these scenes that uh, there's not really an easy scene in there. They're all very kind of intense and it was very intense to shoot them, but it was it was very fun being able to work really closely with Chloe and Alden and, and create a safe space so we could really uh, go all the way um, and, you know, get to the places that we end up getting to in this movie. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, for me, it was, um, I set out to make, um, a, a, I was just excited to, to, first of all, write and direct my own film. I think that was, you know, the first and foremost, uh, the first thing about it. Mm -hmm. But I would say, um, I was excited to tell a thriller about, about power dynamics, you know, between men and women and, and figure out how to, how to kind of, uh, twist a genre, manipulate a genre to, to speak to core themes of the story that I don't think have been explored in other films. So for me, I was excited to, to tell something that, that explored the dangers of male inferiority, you know, that, 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 that use the genre to show all the ways in which um, women are forced to play ugly to survive. Um, I just feel like there's so many films out there um, that, that are genre films, but they don't, they, don't, they don't use it in a way to say anything that, that uh, new or say something that's timely. And, and for me, um, I, I'm here to create um, films that, that take people on a ride and, and explore provocative shades of gray um, and keep people on the edge of their seat, but, but, but ultimately use the tools of entertainment um, uh, to, to get an audience, a larger audience hopefully, to lean into a subject matter they would normally be too scared to touch, you mm -hmm. know, and just hold up a mirror um, to the audience uh, to, to look inward. Um, but I think that, that, that using the tools of entertainment allows people to look in places that they normally wouldn't. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I think f for me, reading this script and feeling that it's just a, just a really wonderfully written piece and with a really wonderful character and the opportunity to go to some of these places and tackle some of these challenges and scenes, et cetera, as an actor was a kind of dark fun. And, uh, um, and, and when I met with Chloe and, and, and Chloe put forth her vision and I also just got a sense of her energy as a filmmaker, I got very excited. And then when Phoebe and I met, uh, I got even more excited about doing this with somebody that I felt such a good chemistry with. Mm -hmm. Kind of bouncing off of that um, for both uh, you and Phoebe, what were some of those initial thoughts when you really saw your characters and this huge transformation that they go through, both together as a couple and then just them individually? Yeah, I mean, I, I just thought it was such an interesting way to explore a modern relationship and um, and I could always really relate to everything that Emily, all the choices that Emily made uh, along the way. I, I could understand um, why she made them. Um, and so in that way, it was kind of easy to step into the role because it, it was all there and, and she was so fully dimensional as a character. Um, and then, yeah, exploring the relationship. I mean, Alden and I, and Chloe all got to rehearse a lot of the scenes, um, well, most of the scenes actually in the film. We had a week's rehearsal 
um, mm. which was really great because we kind of also kind of um, improvised some scenes and um, and you know improvised how they first met and the first time they said they I love you to one another and um, we were able to kind of really create a backstory for them which I think was really important um, to then be able to go to the places that we go to because um, we had a, a foundation for them and also just like it was important it, it was important for me to realize um that you know they were once very much in love and it was very pure and and the i think it i needed kind of to feel that before we went to the places that the relationship eventually goes to mm -hmm. how about for you alden did oh. you it, it. <laughs> yeah, um, tell me, I'm sorry, remind me the question. What were my first impression of reading the uh, character? Yeah, yeah, I was curious because, you know, your character very much does go through quite an emotional journey. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, one of the things, I agree with everything Phoebe just said, but I, I think that, um, you know, in a, in a slightly more, um, one of the, uh, the, the technical way, the structure of the story was such that it was so clear what the 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 tension of the story was so clear from so early on in the film and there was so much runway with the film that it felt like this great opportunity to be able to experiment within the scenes with where the limits are and where the envelope is and play around and improvise somewhat inside of the scenes behaviorally if not the words and um and that the film could support a lot of that sometimes you do a movie where this scene has to be in this tone or else the story can can't move forward and this movie had such a clear strong tension and structure that it could withstand a lot of experimenting and erratic behavior and da, da 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 so it was really fun and chloe gave us a lot of opportunity to 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 try to create chaos here and there and to um you know uh play around with what these scenes were and it, it was a great opportunity for the behavior that happens within this to be a lot more interesting i think as a result I think I got I got overly excited when when things got chaotic. I I, I was like the, the 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 crazier things got, the more like riveted I was because I guess I'm sick. But you know, <laughs> yeah. that's where all the good stuff is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was actually just about to say, Chloe. I know that you and I had an opportunity to speak mm -hmm. a few weeks back, yeah. and you mentioned that um, you always wanted to leave the audience uh, never a moment to breathe and kind of come up for for air. Does it feel like that too, as you're navigating these characters and on set, I know that you're not filming in order and all of that is different, but do you feel that as you are inhabiting these characters and really getting into the story itself? I think so. I mean, we were, you know, we were, I think the immersion, the immersive nature of this, we were in Serbia, we were shooting, you know, we're shooting every day, basically, uh, and and we, we're kind of with mostly each other, and it's the height of winter, and so we're not really going, we're just in this myopic world, the way these characters are, and that um, snowball effect, that sort of accumulating tension and stress and, and, and tiredness and emotionally erratic whatever i think uh lent the you know you felt i felt that by the end you know i think the last thing i shot was like uh, me on the subway in this abandoned railway station where there were these <laughs> old serbian subway cars that they'd repurposed into a new york subway street and it was me and serbian uh, extras pretending to be New Yorkers and, and me just holding the pole mm. thinking about what the fuck has happened in my life and that and, and, and it was a good it was a fitting we had gotten there it was 2am 2am 2 it's yeah. almost like 2am you're yeah. in some weird place and it's like alright we wrapped a movie congratulations yeah, yeah. can I have the suit can yeah. I keep the suit yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I didn't realize that this was filmed in Serbia I'm from Bosnia so oh you're from oh, Serbia wow. You know what? I get how tense that vibe is. Mm -hmm. Me around my family members, I'm feeling like you go on the subway at 2 a.m. Right. I just don't know right. what to expect. Right. <laughs> wow. Well, I unfortunately have to wrap up, but um, I just want to thank all three of you for your time today. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank Very you nice so speaking much. with you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Thank you. Bye.